Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to at another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So in our in in the past few days or in the recent days, I've got a lot of questions from people asking for help or support on how to convert the Postman scripts to Neo Load and I. have personally faced a lot of issues or a lot of challenges while converting the postman script to neo load and i really understand your pain on converting those scripts from postman to neo load because all i i understand because it's always e it's the steps are very quite easy when it's configuring the api requests in postman but it's quite difficult and i would say there's a little of a pain area when it comes in converting the exact same script from the postman to the neo load because we might miss something in the header or we might miss something in the body data so we do we do we do that so but it it's it's not a i would say it's not a error i would say but still that that's a quite a limitation because we might not be able to properly set up the content type in fact even today i have got questions from two people two subscribers who have felt a lot of pain in converting their postman scripts to neo load and they were in their deadline so that's the reason i have immediately jumped in to find the solution for that and yes as a neo load pro with all your support i have come up with the answer and if you really like this video please 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 like this video share this video with your friends who are really struggling to convert their postman scripts to neo load share it with your team members share it with your colleagues who are really facing this issues subscribe to our channel don't forget to subscribe to our channel please do subscribe to our channel and now let's move on to the script so to the video so here for this you must have two things so one is you should have your neo load and your postman installed in your machine so that these are the basic prerequisites because you cannot have both of them in two different machines and you cannot integrate it at least for this process i would say so you must have your postman installed in your machine so please talk to your it people and get your postman or and your neo load in the same machine so once you have both of them and let me go to the postman so here i have my get request and my post request ready so let me send this request and here i have got my response same is the case with the post request and here i have some data in the body as well let me send it and yes here i got the response so everything works fine so you have to make sure that everything works fine before you convert them to your neo load because if there is some errors in your postman already and once you convert it to neo load you will definitely face those errors so make sure that this is again the prerequisite number 2 make sure in fact i would add these points as well so prerequisite number uh, number 1 is you should have neo load plus postman in your mission prerequisite to the postman request should work fine as expected so these are the two prerequisites if there are anything we will add it to this prerequisites list so for now these are the two prerequisites so the first thing is a neo load plus postman and the second part is postman request should work fine as expected so now we will move on to the neo load and let me create the first recording so this is going to be 01 underscore get request underscore postman and then under general for the web so just choose your web as your protocol you do not need to select sap gui or your citrix or real browser it's just going to be your web check your start client delete cookies and clear cache so see that these are the best practices which i would do for any of the scripting and for this example i'm choosing chrome and in case if you do not have your chrome you can choose any other browsers and i'm clicking on okay so now it'll ask to close 
all the instances of this browser and clicking on continue and now the recording window will appear so you do not have any business with the screen or with the tool just go to the postman go to a get request so this is going to be a get request recording click send so this will send the request and that request will go via the net new load proxy and hence that request will be recorded in your machine so let me stop the recording let's wait for a few seconds to get this new load getting uh, its last response and then we will uncheck all the unwanted requests here i'm just going to keep only the json placeholder.ipcode.com because that's the request which i have sent here and you can see the post slash two in the rec in the request once it's completed and let's wait for the dynamic parameters to get completed i click on next so this will take few seconds since this is a very basic very basic get request it has nothing to pass on so there are no dynamic parameters and as a best practice i will always do this go to the overwrite think time to zero milliseconds and then click on next and go to finish so here you can see i have got the get request so the request type is manual definition so make sure you get have the same thing and the method is get since you we all know it's a get request and the server name and the post slash two as i have already told you this is the parameter value that's been passed so now we are ready with the script and one next thing which i do is create a transaction and drag and drop it inside and then i'll create a transaction name and this is always good for you to get the proper response time so get request postman and now we are ready let me save it go to validation and let's run the script the get request from the postman that we have converted now and yes as we expected the response is successful and we have got the expected response so now we are done with the get request so let's now move on to the post request same process creating a new recording and this is going to be my second script which is post request underscore postman sorry underscore postman and uh, the web protocol the same thing which we did for the get request google chrome click ok close all instances of this browser and now the recording has come up again there is nothing to do with this let's go back to the postman select the post request click send yes here we have got the request and now let's come back to okay before that let's stop the recording let's wait for the new load to receive its last server response and yes we are done so now let's again uncheck all the unwanted requests i'm just having only the json placeholder.ipcode.com clicking on next searching for dynamic parameters yes i allow it to do it because sometimes we might get some correlation values because if you have a lot of scripts and if you have any correlation value in your framework so this will definitely help you to fix it very soon and my best practice again to make it override think time to zero and then finish so now i have my post request here with the body content as well so because if you see here i have the body content here so that's been copied and the headers everything is just ready for us to execute so there are no url parameters but we have the path post parameters and again as usual i will add a transaction drag and drop the request in here and this is going to be my 02 underscore post request underscore postman sorry postman and uh, let's now run this script and see how everything goes so i believe it will work fine as expected yes so everything has been successfully passed so here in your request you can see all the values has been passed successfully your postman token your user agent everything everything is ready with this and your user response is also successful so with that i think we have completed our request so there's one more thing which we can try so whether we can try actually uh, whether uh, we can get multiple requests in the same postman so i will do uh, like 0102 get underscore post 
let's try to run both of the request one after the other and let's see what happens so for example if i go to the get let me send it i've got the get request go to the post do a send and then stop this recording and let's see whether both the request has got recorded in our script so for that let me uncheck all of these go to next 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 let's wait for a few seconds to get it completed once it's completed we are good to see a recording let me overwrite the thing time is zero seconds next and finish and yes so here we can see both the requests so the get request is here and here's the post request so again this works as well so in case if you want to record individual request you can do it if you, in case if you want to record multiple requests under the same transaction yes you can very well do it in fact you can even record this as part of your new load transactions so for example if you are just doing a new load transactions to your ui and at the end if you want to really record this request as part of it move to the postman just do this request and automatically this request will be saved as part of your new load ui requests new load ui recording so all the very best for you and if you have any questions please don't forget to comment in the comment section or you can reach me on linkedin you can reach me on my email id at vasantc at gmail.com and you can reach me in my little slide youtube channel in my linkedin page there are lots of ways so please don't forget to reach out to me so until i meet you in another interesting video like this it's bye bye from vasant shankam and little slaw